Ay, ay, ay. Okay, guys, get comfy. If I've said this before on my channel, I will definitely be saying it a million times more at least. Mike Flanagan sure knows how to scare you. Guys, how you doing? My name is Zach, and I love talking all things television, all things cinema, and all things entertainment. I really do appreciate you guys clicking on the thumbnail today. I really hope you enjoy your stay, because if we got a doozy on the table today, we're looking at Netflix's brand new exclusive miniseries, Midnight Mass. And this show was created by and directed by the genius Mike Flanagan, who I'm convinced is the best director working in the horror genre today. Just to recap, this is the same guy who brought you both The Haunting of Hill House and and Bly Manor, both of which are also on Netflix, which, if you haven't checked out, definitely do so. I reviewed both of those series on the channel as well. But Midnight Mass follows an isolated island community which experiences miraculous events and frightening omens after the arrival of a charismatic, mysterious young priest. And guys, don't you worry, because if I were to go deeper into the plot synopsis, that is heavy spoiler territory, so I don't want to do that to you guys, because I want you guys to experience Midnight Mass exactly like I did because keep in mind I had not seen a single trailer for this thing I knew there was a priest involved isolated island community that was it well and the fact that Mike Flanagan was helming this thing so I was gonna watch it either way but guys honestly this may be the best thing Mike Flanagan has ever put out I'm serious this series was phenomenal and just like all the most famous religious stories Midnight Mass is miraculous. Just like Noah's Ark, just like Proverbs, just like the book of Genesis, the creation of Earth, all of which are referenced within these seven episodes. But just like all of those stories, Midnight Mass was riveting from start to finish. I did not want to turn off the show after I finished each episode. And this is all coming from someone who, first things first, is a huge fan of Mike Flanagan. And again, I really did not have an inkling of a clue what this series was even about. But oh boy, did this series surprise me with its contents. And and that's in regard to the supernatural, cool, horrific element of Midnight Mass. The big plot twist, if you will. In itself, that's pretty spectacular. And if you know what Mike Flanagan is capable of behind the camera, you would know that this series looks absolutely stunning. Honestly, it's so gripping, the horrific imagery we're being shown. This is where a terrifying score by the Newton brothers really helps matters to accentuate every horrific moment within the series. You can just feel the passion for this project seeping through every frame. And Flanagan has stated in interviews in the past that with him growing up in a Roman Catholic household, this was a huge passion project for him. And he's called Midnight Mass his most personal project yet, especially with some of the themes he's tackling, which I'll get to in a second. But I, for one, am so glad that Mike Flanagan got to realize his passion project here. The stuff that happens in this thing really is the stuff of nightmares. And you know what was really horrifying about this series? I actually thought it was the cult-like mentality of the people living in this town. And obviously, none of this is indicative of what churches are like in real life, because I grew up a Christian myself. And there's no way that the church I was raised in was anything remotely close to this. Of course not. But I should note, and this is just a heads up to you guys, but the questions this show tackles can be really offensive to some people, especially extremely offensive to the most devout of Christians. Without getting too deep into spoilers with what the inhabitants of Crockett Island evolve into, that's your only clue. But this is a show that's dealing with the debate on eternal life, if it even exists. What happens when you die? And the stuff people will do to achieve eternal life can be catastrophic and the root of all evil, as demonstrated in this series by some characters like Beverly Keen, the... God, this chick, man. <laughs> Just gonna leave it at that for right now. But Beverly Keen was giving Professor Umbridge a run for her money. Like, I could not stand her. That just goes to show you how fantastic Samantha Sloyan was in this role. She does and says things that really get under your skin. But because she's a woman of the cloth, she justifies it every single time. It's a great character. Think about what would happen if Umbridge from Harry Potter had a secret love child with Judge Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. She could totally be their daughter. But I urge everybody in the industry, and Mike Flanagan, I know you're probably going to give her more work anyway, but she just deserves more work in general. She was fantastic in this series. The same goes for every single actor in here. Kate Siegel, who is in both Haunting series directed by her husband, is once again fantastic in this. She's the one who's basically kind of dissecting what happens when humans die. Zach Guilford gets some really interesting character work to sink his teeth into. 
Rahul Kohli plays the town's local sheriff, who you really sympathize with at so many stages of this series. You're rooting for him so badly. But the big show stealer, of course, is Hamish Linklater as our priest, Father Hill. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything about this character's true identity, but there are some staggering revelations that we learn about his character later on in the series that floored me. Absolutely floored me. And what a wonderful actor he is as well. I had never seen him in anything prior to Midnight Mass, and again, I'm really hoping he gets more work sometime soon. I'm sure there were lots of yellow in his script highlighting the paragraphs of text that were put in front of him. Gosh, as an actor, I feel that, man. The memorization. But this guy was certainly up for the task. His sermons are the stuff of legends. And honestly, guys, I, I, I don't know if the Emmys will consider him, but I really hope they actually look at his performance and consider nominating him because he deserves all the credit in the world for how masterful he was behind the podium. Guys, Midnight Mass was shocking. It was enthralling. Every episode just builds and builds and builds on top of each other. As I mentioned, every single time an episode stopped, I did not want to shut the show off. Mike Flanagan always leaves you wanting more, which I think is the true touch of a television master. And if you haven't guessed, I loved this series, guys. If I had to pick one teeny tiny little thing at this stage, I would have liked a better paced first couple of episodes. I think if those first two premiere episodes picked up the pace a little bit more, that would have been a bit more ideal for me. But that's it. Midnight Mass seriously is one of the best new shows to hit any streaming platform all year long. I urge you guys to check it out, especially if you're a spooky fan, especially if you're a fan of Mike Flanagan. He's done it again. He has added such an amazing project to his repertoire. I'm giving Midnight Mass an A. I'm so glad Mike Flanagan put this out there, as this was certainly a passion project. And he delivered his best work since The Haunting of Hill House, and on... Oh, God, I don't know. If you had to force me to pick between the two, I don't think I could just yet. I have to watch both series again. But this is certainly up there. But in all seriousness, guys, either way you slice it, Midnight Mass is something you do not want to miss, especially if you're a horror fan like I am. It is a bloody scary time that will get your heart racing from its genesis. But of course, this is all just my opinion about Midnight Mass. What did you guys think of it? Are you looking forward to seeing this show? Do you think it's a horror masterpiece? And feel free to make some noise down in the comments section below what you thought of this series let me know what your favorite episode was of midnight mass because i love creating this content i love starting the discussion with you guys and continuing it further in the comments really really satisfies me as well but if you guys are enjoying this content and you want to keep up to date with me talking all things cinema all things entertainment all things television rather then do consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below as hard as you possibly can it's totally free to you guys it's really really beneficial to help get this content out there to more people we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers Subscribers, which I'm hoping to reach by the end of the year. I'll keep my fingers crossed for that. So subscribing will be really, really beneficial to you. It'd be beneficial to me. It'd be beneficial to all of us. You know what else will be really helpful is if you hit that thumbs up button on your way out. And as per, look out for more exciting content hitting this channel very, very soon. I just reviewed No Time to Die, so look out for that review. I'll also be continuing my Halloween playlist early this coming week with Hellraiser. Lots of exciting stuff coming up, guys. I can't wait to bring it all to you and much, much more. You guys are the best. With all that being said, back talk, commence. <laughs>